We've tracked down another person who says he's the victim of an ex-minister charged with sex offenses at the Piedmont Triad Farmers Market on Sandy Ridge Road west of Greensboro. He's a college student who says in March of 2020, Ivan Hugh McDonald Peden, who's 71 years old, touched him inappropriately inside a grocery store. Peden's most recent charges stem from both June and July of this year. At the time, this victim was 17 years old. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil and I'm Katie Nordine. Fox 8's Cassie Fambro learned that case caused Peden to leave the pulpit. Cassie. Yeah, at the time he was leading Louisville United Methodist Church and the victim's grandparents say he was forced to leave. They heard about the new charges this afternoon and they told me they're so angry that their grandson was preyed upon. Ivan Peden, now 71, was charged and pled guilty to simple assault in March of 2020. His victim worked at a Lowe's Foods in Forsyth County as a bag boy. The victim's grandparents say Peden was physically aggressive with the teenager, at one point writing down his phone number on a receipt and forcing it into the teen's pocket while grabbing his backside multiple times. Three years later, those grandparents told Fox 8 they're disgusted to hear allegations he preyed on other people. Just someone I trusted and unexpected praying on young men at the farmer's market. A farmer's market vendor who considered Peden a frequent customer said the man charged with sexual battery grabbed his chest forcefully. What I mistake for a friendly man was um, a scary predator if you ask me. The man who wished to remain anonymous said the encounter happened in the bathroom of the farmer's market on June 24th. My fear was that he was going to follow me into the stall. Three weeks later, sheriff's deputies told him that a 13-year-old boy experienced something similar at the farmer's market, this time involving Peden exposing himself. It made me angry, especially because it was a child. We went to Peden's listed address and knocked on the door, but were given a no comment. His neighbor, Helen Scarborough, says she's angry too. To have someone in the neighborhood that is not safe and not really knowing this person that has committed these crimes. I need for the police department to do something about this. As for the farmer's market, they have banned Peden. Peden was a pastor at churches in Thomasville, High Point and Charlotte in the past. Parishioners have emailed us sharing their feelings once they heard the news and offered their prayers. The sheriff's office, though, is asking for any other potential victims to please come forward. In the newsroom, Cassie Fambro, Fox 8 News. All right, Cassie, thank you. And Wesley Memorial United Methodist Church in High Point released a statement today about the arrest in part saying we are saddened to hear the news of the allegations regarding our former associate minister, Reverend Ivan Peden. You may find this news to be distressing. Our clergy staff will be dedicating time to offer assistance to any members of our congregation who need support.